Now that Manny Pacquiao is in cahoots with Al Heyman, it looks like we've got a possible fight against Adrian Broner on the 19th of January 2019 in Las Vegas. Sounds like a good fight to me. It's got action written all over it. But just a word first on Pacquiao still going now. He's on the precipice of 40. It's crazy to think this guy with his style, the weight he started at at flyweight, the age he started at, was it 13 or 14? He's still going after all these wars and still very competent and very good at the world level. When he got knocked out by Juan Manuel Marquez a good six years ago now, it was one of those car crash knockouts and it looked like he'd just be completely done. Even if he were to fight again and have another one after, you'd imagine he would have been such a diminished force, he wouldn't have really been able to get anything done. I know a lot of people, including myself, when they saw him get absolutely planked by Marquez in that amazing fight, as I say, almost six years ago now to the day, you certainly weren't thinking the possible Floyd Mayweather fight at that point, but he carried on. He rematched Bradley. He ended up having a rubber match with Bradley, uh, fought Mayweather and beat some still decent, um, you could say made to order, but still decent world level fighters and he happens to have a belt again, having looked pretty good against Lucas Matisse last time and registering his first knockout and stoppage was it since the Cotto fight, so uh, in terms of last performances, you know, being indicative of your worth, Pacquiao's still looking pretty darn good for his age. As for Broner, he had a tough fight last time out against Jesse Vargas. It was a draw. You could say he was a little bit hard done by because he picked probably the better shots, but still his main Achilles heel. Being stuck in the mud, that was always the one thing that was apparent with Broner when he was coming up. People were talking about parallels with Mayweather, the way he held his guard the same. You could see feet-wise, mobility-wise, and bending as well. It was a lot poorer, and that allows somebody who's more basic in someone like Vargas to wing away and get good success at him. Now, Broner has a bit of that macho side to him where he's like, I don't care, I don't care, you know, he'll be pushing off the hooks and go, yeah, well, that didn't hurt me, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt you, you're there to be hit, and he's not really good at miles away, light years away from Mayweather in terms of the hitting and not getting hit. Broner is always there to be hit. And as things stand, it kind of makes me still favor Pacquiao at this point. Now, it's crazy to think that because if you compare their respective weights they started at and their respective ages, I believe Broner's still 29, he's under 30 and much fresher and never been stopped. Um, so I doubt Pacquiao's going to be able to stop him, but there's something inherent in Pacquiao's like hornet nest attack style. He has his own little quirks, the quick feet, the way he just randomly stabs you with the lead left hand. I think there's certain things Pacquiao does that find it, that make it very difficult for even good world level fighters to get a handle on because he's still very unorthodox. He's just got these little vicious little quirks and though it's a lot slower these days he's not the buzzsaw he used to be and certainly after that knockout by Marquez he's been more wary as you would do for a guy who's nearly 40 and continually fighting men with bigger frames it's only natural but he's you know he's not that same force but still his style the fact Brown is hittable so long as Pacquiao doesn't eat something too heavy or get himself hurt I do favor him to use his mobility his awkwardness the little attacks, of course, is bread and butter, the straight left down the side and then the twist to the right. You know, he does it loads of times, but it's very hard to get to grips with. I feel that is going to be the kind of action we're going to see in a, a very good fight. But I think Pacquiao is going to hold up his hands high when he needs to not match it too much, stick to a game plan. And I'll point Broner in a very interesting fight. Who knows what will be next after them. But he's at that age now, nearly 40, where it could all just fall apart. Nearly, he's going to be 40 years of age there, at loads of miles on the clock. And Broner, not a massive puncher, but he can dig, so there's always going to be that. those alarm bells going for the 12 rounds. But I do expect another Pacquiao victory to add on to his already amazing legacy.